Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, we're going to create a fun and simple project where we create a video inside of an audio spectrum effect in Adobe After Effects. So to begin, I'm just going to create a new composition, and here's where you can choose the exact size and duration of your composition that you want. Alternatively, if you drag in your audio or video clip first, it will match those set sizes and lengths. But I'll just create an example project here, 1920 by 1080 standard HD size. And I'll just create a solid backdrop at first for us to work with. So I'll go to layer, new, solid, and I'll fill it with black. Next, I'm gonna create another new solid. So layer, new, solid. And for this one, I'm going to head over to my effects and presets panel, search for one called audio spectrum. So you should see it creates an audio spectrum on this layer but we want to get this spectrum reacting to a music or audio track. So you can use whatever audio clip you want. For me, I have this little song loaded up in my project media bin. If you don't see this, you can always just drag media in here so you can drag it into your project. And I'm going to drag it into my project. And then I'm going to go to that audio spectrum layer, go to the effect controls panel and search for under audio spectrum, the audio layer settings and set it so that it's reacting to this MP3. So now you should see some activity start to happen. And from here, we have some adjusting to do so that we create the type of waveform we want. So this is going to vary depending on, you know, the beats of your song or the loudness, just whatever audio you're working with. But in the case of wanting to make a good backdrop to put a video inside of, I'm gonna add some more frequency bands, maybe lower, the range of the start and end frequency so it's a little bigger and maybe increase the maximum height this is something that you're going to want to play around with back and forth even just keep previewing it and tweaking it to your liking all of these different parameters here are pretty self-explanatory if you do want i do have several tutorials about these audio spectrums and waveforms if you want to dive deeper in them but you really have creative freedom on how you want your waveform to look it's just how I'm doing it for this example. Another thing I'm gonna do is just extend the start and end points so that they reach all the way to the ends of the screen. So here at the start point, I'm going to move the X point a little bit to the left. And then for the end point, I'm gonna move the X axis a little bit to the right, creating a little bit more extended look there. And honestly, this looks pretty cool as is. You know, this could definitely be a good starting point or stopping point for different effects but i'm going to take it one step further and place a video inside of this waveform that we just created so i've also got a video clip in my project media bin just whatever this is a guy playing guitar thought that matched up with the song well i'm going to drag it into my project now for this example this video clip is a little bit smaller than the composition size which might not be the case for you, but I'm just gonna go into the transform section and increase the scale so that it fits. I'm not too worried about quality, just an example. And I'm gonna actually drag this video clip underneath that waveform that we just created. So you should be able to see the waveform layer on top of the video clip layer. And then I'm going to go to the track mat section and I'm going to drop down that track mat and choose alpha mat for that waveform layer so whatever you have it named if you get confused easily and you're not too organized you can always right click or hit return on those layers so that you can name them maybe to help you keep a little bit more organized so you're going to pick that layer and you're going to choose alpha mat and you should see now your video takes shape of that waveform which is the basic starting point for this effect and from here all you're going to want to do is go to the waveform and keep tweaking those effect controls to your liking. So you can try out all the different ones. The color doesn't really matter, but there's different options for how the effect looks. Um, if it's just on one side or two side, you could definitely do both. The starting and end position, so you can position it where you want. And just as a finishing touch, I'm gonna go back to my black solid backdrop. And you can do something fun, like add a gradient ramp in there or even a photograph or really whatever you want. But in my case, I'll add a radial gradient ramp, move that kind of to the center and change the colors to be something like 
a really dark blue to a lighter blue almost. So that's the basics on this waveform in video effect. Hopefully you learned a little bit about audio waveforms and track mats in Adobe After Effects. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.